Hi everyone, a warm welcome to the second part of Milne Thompson method. It's a direct method for finding an analytic function when its real part or imaginary part is given. Our analytic function is f equal to u plus iv. We know fz is obtained by integrating f dash z. That is f of z equal to integral f dash z dz. We have f dash z equal to dou u by dou x plus i dou v by dou x. So f z equal to integral dou u by dou x plus i dou v by dou x into dz. If u is known, we can find dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y. So we have to replace dou v by dou x in terms of partial derivative of u by using Cauchy Riemann equations. By CR equations, dou v by dou x is equal to minus dou u by dou y. So f of z is integral dou u by dou x minus i dou u by dou y into dz. Next put x equal to z and y equal to 0. Now we can see the integrand is a function of z alone. So it is easy for integration with respect to z. So integrate it and we will get the required analytic function. If v is given, we can find dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y. So we have to replace dou u by dou x in terms of partial derivative of v by using Cauchy Riemann equations. By CR equations, dou u by dou x is dou v by dou y. So f is equal to integral dou v by dou y plus i into dou v by dou x into d z. Next put x equal to z and y equal to 0. Then we can see the integrand is a function of z alone. So we can easily integrate with respect to z. And we will get the required analytic function. Let me find analytic function by Milne Thompson method. Find an analytic function whose imaginary part is v raised to minus x sin y. Here v is v1. So you find dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y. That is vx minus e raised to minus x sin y. That is dou v by dou y it is e raised to minus x cos y. See we have to find fvz. See fvz is obtained by integrating f dash z. What is f dash z? It is ux plus sin ux. You have to remember f dash z is ux plus i dx. Here we have only v. So you replace ux by Cauchy Riemann equations. See what are Cauchy Riemann equations? u x equal to v y and u y is equal to minus v x. See these are Cauchy Riemann equations. So u x is v y. So v y plus i v x d z. Integral, you put the values of v y and v x. e raised to minus x cos y plus i into minus e raised to minus x sin y d z. Here we are applying Lily Thompson method. Say next you have to put x equal to z and y equal to 0. When y equal to 0, cos 0 it is 1. So the first term becomes e raised to minus z minus i into. When y is 0, sin y is 0. So that term becomes 0. So it is integral e raised to minus z dz. What is integral e raised to minus z? It is minus e raised to minus z. You put a constant after the equation. So f z is a required analytic function f z is minus e raised to minus z plus c. See this is a method of finding an analytic function directly from u or v by Milne Thompson method. See, we have f z is integral f dash z. f dash z is ux plus i dx. You replace ux or vx properly by using Cauchy Riemann equations. Next, you put x equal to z and y equal to 0. Then integrate with respect to z. 
After integration, you put a constant c. That will be the required analytic function. Next question is, find an analytic function whose imaginary part is sine and x cos y. Here, v is v1. So you find dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y. What is dou v by dou x? Derivative of sine hx is cos hx into cos y. See, in the case of hyperbolic functions, you have to remember these results. Derivative of sine hx is cos hx. Derivative of cos hx is sine hx. Here, there is no negative sign. You remember. Again, also, you have to notice that cos h 0 is 1 and sine h 0 is 0. We have cos 0 is 0. So, oh, sorry, cos 0 is 1 and sine 0 is 0. Similar result for cos h 0 and sine h 0. So, dou v by dou x is cos h x cos y. What is dou v by dou y? It is minus sine hx sine y. We have to find fz. By integrating f dash z, you will get fz. What is f dash z? f dash z is ux plus i dx into dz. ux is, here we have only vx and dy. So you replace ux in terms of partial derivative of v with respect to by using partial derivative equations. What is ux? It is dy plus i dx dz. Here dy is minus sine hx sine y plus i into dx is cos hx cos y into dz. Next, you have to put x equal to z and y equal to 0. So, this equal to integral. When y is 0, sin y is sin 0, sin 0 is 0, so first term will be 0. I will do. Second term, cos h is set into cos 0, it is 1. So it is cos h is set, d is set. That is i. Integral cos h is set. What is integral cos h is set? It is sin h is set. After integration, there is plus c. See, this is our required analytic function. Next, find an analytic function whose real part is sin x cos h y. Here we have u. u equal to sin x cos h y. So, what is u x? Cos x cos h y. u y is sin x sin h y. We know f z is in the rule f dash z. Again, f dash z is u x plus i v x. Here u is the one, so we have ux and uy. So we have to replace vx by using cautionary Riemann equations. What is vx by using cautionary Riemann equations? Vx is minus uy. So minus i into uy dz. And then ux is cos x cos hy minus i into sin x sin hy. Next you put z equal to x equal to z and y equal to 0. Integral becomes cos x cos x 0 is 1 minus i into sin x 0 is 0. So it is integral cos z. What is integral cos z? It is sin z plus c. See our required analytic function is. Next question. Find an analytic function whose real part is e raised to x into x cos y minus y sin y. See this question, u is v1. u equal to e raised to x into x cos y minus y sin y. See it's an important question for university examination. See in such questions, first you open the bracket for the convenience of partial differentiation. So what is u? u equal to x e raised to x cos y minus e raised to x y sin y. You find dou u by dou x. What is dou u by dou x? See, in the first term, you can see x into e raised to x. See, it's a product. So, you let apply product rule. Here, cos y is a constant. First function, you will 
Derivative of second plus second into derivative of first minus. See so y sin y is a constant. So you write the derivative of e raised to x. Its derivative is e raised to x itself. See this is dou u by dou x. Again u y is in the first term x e raised to x is a constant. Derivative of cos y is minus sin y minus e raised to x into c. It's a product. Then you have to apply product rule. So first into derivative of second plus second into derivative of first. This is do u by do x. We have f z is integral f dash is such d is such and it is integral u x plus i v x d x. Here we have only u x and u y. So you have to replace Vx in terms of partial derivative of u by using partial Riemann equations. So it is integral ux. What is Vx? It is minus uy. D is z. Sorry, here it is uh, d is z. Integral f dash is d is z. That is integral. What is ux? Cos y into x e raised to x plus e raised to x minus e raised to x y sin y minus i into u. I into u y minus x e raised to x i y minus e raised to x into y cos y plus sin y. Integration with respect to z. Next you put x equal to z and y equal to 0. That is integral. When y is 0, it is cos 0, it is 1. You put it x equal to z. So it's a d raised to z plus e raised to z minus sin y is 0. So that term is 0 minus i into. When y is 0, cos 0, it is 1. So it's a d raised to z plus e raised to z minus sin y is 0. So that term is 0. Minus i into sin y 0. So this term is 0. Here, when y is 0, this term is 0. And sin y is 0, that term is also 0. So this becomes integral is the d raised to z plus c raised to z dz. That is, Integral is the d raised to z plus integral e raised to z. Here you can apply integration by products. Here let me apply a shortcut method. So you start with the polynomial sine alternate sine. Its integral is e raised to z. Here e raised to z plus integral e raised to z is e raised to z. After integration plus c. You can see these are so what is f is such? f is z equal to is z d raised to z plus c. See, this is our required energy function whose real part is e raised to x into x cos y minus y sin y. Another similar important question for university examination. Find an energy function whose real part is e raised to minus x into x sin y minus y cos y. See here, u is the one. As I mentioned earlier, for the convenience of partial differentiation, you open the bracket. So it is u, it is x e raised to minus x sin y minus e raised to minus x y cos y. That is dou u by dou x. In the first term, sin y is a constant. You write its derivative, so it's a product. So there you have to apply product rule. So x into derivative of u raised to minus x is minus u raised to minus x. Plus e raised to minus x into 1. Minus. Its derivative is minus e raised to minus x. Y cos y. Next u y. u y is equal to x e raised to minus x cos y. Minus e raised to minus x. Here we have to apply product rule for differentiation. So minus y sin y plus cos y. We know f is integral f dash is z, d is z. 
It is a fraction set. It is ux plus i dx. A line. Here, we know ux and uy. So we have to replace vx. What is vx by using Hoshchev Lehmann equations? It is minus uy. You put ux and uy here. ux is sine y into minus x, c raised to minus x plus c raised to minus x plus c raised to minus x into y cos y minus i into i into u y is x c raised to minus x cos y minus e raised to minus x minus sine y plus cos y. Next we have to put x equal to z and y equal to 0. When y is 0, sin y is 0. So this term completely 0. 0 plus. What about this term? It is also 0. Minus i into. See here cos 0 is 1. So there is a not 0 value. So it's a d raised to minus z. Minus e raised to minus z into. See this term is 0 plus next to term is 1. So it is integral minus i is z e raised to minus z plus psi in the e raised to minus z. That is, you can take i outside, it's a common factor. i into e raised to minus z minus z e raised to minus z. So this is i into what is integral e raised to minus e set? It is minus e raised to minus e set. Next we are playing by parts or this shortcut method e set minus. You write its integral here e raised to minus e set by minus 1. Again you write its integral here e raised to minus e set by minus 1 is 3. Now integration is over. This is equal to i into minus e raised to minus z. Minus of minus z e raised to minus z. I. See, after integration, you have to put a plus c. Don't forget that. You can see this will cancel each other. And it is i is z e raised to minus z plus c. See, this is our required analytic function whose real part is e raised to minus x into x sin y minus y cos y. See, in these, uh, like, in these types of questions, a few students may find difficulty y differentiating and substituting x equal to z and y equal to 0 here. Through practice, you can answer these questions very easily. So, practice. Next, we have to answer an interesting question, which is entirely different from all the previous questions. Question is, find an entry function whose real part is log root x squared plus y squared. Here, u is given as log root x squared plus y squared. As usual, we find dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y. So, what is uh, dou u by dou x? The derivative of log x is 1 by x, so 1 by root x squared plus y squared into, you have to multiply the derivative of root x squared plus y squared with respect to x. What is the derivative of root x? It is 1 by 2 root x. So its derivative is 1 by 2 into root x squared plus y squared. Again, into the derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect to x, that is 2x. See, this is ux and it is x by x square plus y square. See, this is our x. Similarly, dou u by dou y is 1 by root x square plus y square into the derivative of root x square plus y square is 1 by 2 root x square plus y square into the derivative of x square plus y square that is 2 y. We are differentiating with respect to y. So the partial derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect to y is 
2y. So you have to multiply by 2y. And you can see this y by x square plus y square. Next, you have to find f z. We know by integrating f dash z, we will get f z. So f z is integral plus dash z is z. That is integral ux plus i b x d z. Here, integral ux dx is minus i u y into d z. That is integral. What is ux? x by x square plus y square minus i into what is u y? y by x square plus y square d z. Next, we have to put x equal to z and y equal to 0. So, this integral becomes integral y0. So, it is z by z square minus i into 0 dz. That is integral 1 by z dz. What is integral 1 by z? It is log z plus t. So, the required analytic function is log z plus t. 